still got to go to a ways to catch his dad, though. I mean, this kid's growing like a weed. Straight up. For the double. And more of the lead. Light hit caves them all in, and Dickinson's fired up. He desperately wants to win that first senior title. When we come back, the completion of the semifinal game. Gary Dickinson leading by 31 and on a double. Here's Meet the Athletics tomorrow night live on ESPN Friday Night Baseball. And Gary Dickinson got what we call the old bucket crumbler strike. As the head pin comes in here, barely hits the five. The five's going over and will hit the four to knock out the four pin and get the strike. He crumbled the bucket to two, four, five, eight to get the double. Leads by 31, Jimmy Long on a strike though in the fifth. Needs to get back in the match. Right there. Ooh, you gotta like that, Mike Durbin. See, now, that's part of match play competition. Responding to that kind of a challenge. And right now, if he strikes right more time on lane 51 that he's hit twice in a row already, or three times in a row, he sends a message to Dickinson that he's right in this match, that he's got both lanes figured out. An impressive opening performance for Jim Long in the championship round. In the two previous games, he struck in the seventh frame both times, trying to throw it here both ways. Has to hurry. He liked it. Ooh, what a, a shot. Bone crunching strike on 51. Dickinson quickly up off the bench. Well, seven is the frame. You know, three sevens in Las Vegas. Boy, he ought to head for the tables, huh? He's ready. Trying to put Dickinson under the table with shots like that. Let's see how Dickinson responds. He also is on a double. Close to the third arrow and tight. Fell back and left the weak 10. See the difference? Long and a little softer speed. Can circle, carries that kind of hit. Or rolls up flush. Dickinson, a little straighter, doesn't carry it. As we watch the ball hit the pocket, watch it deflect in. It'll bounce to the right. See the five and the eight are up there for a second. The six doesn't get out, almost got out to get the 10. Cross lane at the 10 pin. And of course, Gary hasn't missed a 10 pin since 1962. Right. I think it was against you. <laughs> it probably was. Another guy in the 180s, only he's 6'4", 50 years of age, 24 years of pro. Was an outstanding high school basketball player. We went one-on-one -on -one, one time down in Oklahoma. Who won? That was pretty close. I took him out to three-point land. Oh, those big fellows can't shoot out there, but he, he posted me up inside and pretty much embarrassed me. My post-up defense isn't what it used to be. Well, Gary's pocket percentage is not what he wants it to be right now. Yeah, did you see that look on Daniel's yep. face? His mouth turned down. My wife calls that my Donald Duck look. <laughs> <laughs> Still some work to be done on the spare. Good, close, tight semifinal match for the rights to take on the top seed for the second year in a row, Gene Stuss. Well, big shot in the match right here because this is to take the lead, right? Right now. Nine pins behind. a superb heavy roll. It was interesting the way that ball held pocket all the way. Both of us looked at it as soon as he let it go. We wondered whether it's going to creep high or not. It didn't. Now the ninth frame, he can set himself up for the tenth, take an 11 pin lead into the tenth frame if he can strike right here. Kerry Dickinson could shoot 237, but Jim Long is got a possible 248. Could come down to who can perform in the tenth frame. Looks good. Oh, did he throw that pretty? I'll tell you what. 
Bowling like he's been there all of his life. Jim Long with a terrific performance. Watch this ball roll up. This is a board 16 strike right here where the six pin goes off the sideboard, comes up and gets it. It's not quite dead flush, but it's not really the half pocket. A little higher than that. Here's his reaction. Dickinson really in a bind. Has to have it. And again, the five pin in front of the seven. So Dickinson has hit the pocket. But you're right, the carry percentage hasn't been what he hoped. That's right. He's got uh, four strikes in this game with every ball out of nine. In, or right now, yeah, out of nine frames in the pocket. Actually, he crossed Brooklyn on one. Now he's in the unenviable position. He has to make this and then double in the 10th frame. Has to. And he knows it. Gary Dickinson shaking his head. Ball reaction not quite what he was looking for here in the semifinal game, but 216 would be his top effort tonight if he struck out. And Jim Long opened the last game, came back with five in a row, opened this game in the fourth frame, and now has struck five in a row after that. And he says he's not a good match game player. I should say 226 is his possibility. Right. If he takes it off the sheet. Has to hurry. And does not. Gary Dickinson looking at third place and Jim Long with aspirations of winning a senior title. The 278 to have any hope of winning this match, he has to.